Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Workshop Toys, the Puppet Master Legacy Edition Figures Blade Deluxe 12-inch Movie Edition Figure. Spa would like to have a huge thank you thrown out there to a viewer of mine, Angelo, who took the time and sent this my way. Uh, Puppet Master, I've seen a couple of the Puppet Masters. I haven't seen all of them. And Angelo was nice enough not only to ship and send the Blade figure to me that we're going to be looking at, but he also sent me the uh, Puppet Master Legacy DVD that has all the movies. So I'll be able to finally catch up on the Puppet Master movies that I haven't seen yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, from what I have seen of the Puppet Masters, being, of course, the original, and, and I think I've seen the first three, possibly the first... I know I've seen the first two. I might have seen part of the third one as well. Um, of course, Puppet Master has a series of killer dolls that go on rampaging, and actually one of my personal favorites of the Puppet dolls was Blade here. So it's perfect that Angelo took the time and sent that my way. So again, big thank you, sir, for taking that time. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Package-wise, you've got a mostly open window so you can see Blade inside, and then you've got package artwork down below of the character along with Blade Deluxe 12-inch movie edition of figure. An exact 12-inch reproduction of the original Blade puppet used in Puppet Master movie series. It is recommended for ages 13 and up and there is a choking hazard as some small parts are not suitable for children under 3 years of age. Side of the package features some additional details such as the 12-inch Blade features sculpted head taken from the original mold of the Blade puppet. Real cloth, uh, real cloth fitted outfit featuring real buttons, pants, and shirt. Ultra detailed hook weapon and blade weapon are removable and interchangeable. Even 12 inch blades shoes are an exact replica of the one the movie, one, uh, movie puppet wears. Then on the back of the package, uh, other workshop toys available. There's the 12 inch Killjoy figure and Demonic Toys collection as well, which I haven't seen Demonic Toys. I still want to get around to watching that. And uh, on the side there, we've got Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. So there you go. There is packaging. Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the workshop toys Blade Deluxe 12 inch movie edition figure. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Now that we have Blade out of packaging, let's get a better look at this phenomenal looking reproduction of the Blade puppets from the Puppet Master series. Yes, he does look quite exact to how he appeared in the movie itself. And I'm actually very surprised with how poseable this guy is as well, but we'll get into all of that in a second. How about the first thing we do, we'll just bring the camera up here and let's get a better close-up look at his face. Again, the face is a very faithful reproduction. Uh, of course, it would have to be. It was taken from the original molds. Um, I suppose as one small little tiny nitpick I could make, um, I wish that there was maybe a darker wash of paint that was added around the mouth portion of his face. From a distance, it seems to almost get lost some of the details to his mouth and even like looking and referencing it to photos, um, this section area here of his mouth comes across, I think a little, it reads a little bit more brown in the uh, the movie or, or images from the movie, as opposed to the, uh, being a more neutral cream color that carries from his, his eyes down. I do like the sunken in eyes. I always thought that blade kind of reminded me of that really creepy looking uh, bad guy from Poltergeist 2. Of course, just with a hat and a, a long trench coat. The name Blade also uh, relates more so to his weapons of choice. He does have a hook and he does have a blade in his hand. Now, it does indicate that these are interchangeable. Um, I found actually a real tough time trying to get the hook off of his hand. And because this is a plastic, I didn't want to damage it, so I just actually opted to leave it on. But I love the uh, the little weathering and, and age that they've added to the blade. It does look like real metal, and if you could actually believe it, it's just plastic. But the 
the crudeness, I would say, to the sculpt of the hook and blade specifically, give it a real world look to it. Like this looks like it really would be metal. It also feels like it's a slightly sharp edge, but I don't feel like I'm going to be cutting myself. Uh, even though there's blood splattered all over the blade of his uh, his one weapon. I do. I think the, the weapons turned out extremely nice. These could also rotate as well just by virtue of the fact that they can't unpeg. But again, I had a, a tough time getting them off. I'll likely just leave them on. Uh, as indicated as well, the, his, his trench coat is a real fabric as well as his pants. And his shoes are taken from exact molds from the puppets used in the movie. So... Pretty much head to toe, I can imagine this being the more exact way. If you ever want to get a, a Puppet Master doll, this is the most exact way, I think, to probably do that. I like also the the material used in his hair. It's a very full, full amount of hair. It doesn't feel uh, sparse in any way. From the back, it also kind of looks like Hulk Hogan's hair. The hat I don't think is removable, uh, nor would I make any efforts to try to remove it. I probably would just leave it in place. Yes, as a whole, I really have no uh, no real nitpicks I could make about it, other than I just wish that there was a, a, a more of a brown wash around the mouth area, just so that the mouth would be accented just a little bit more. Uh, Scale-wise, he's also a perfect scale too. And he's going to look incredible on display with like all my horror movies and stuff like that. So again, I can't stress this enough. Angelo, thank you so much for taking the time and sending this my way. This is going to probably be one of my new favorite collectibles to put on display. When it comes to Blade's articulation, let's go ahead and look at that now. His head is on a rotation. It looks like it could rotate, yes, all the way around. Uh, he does have also a rotation on his waist. Uh, underneath his trench coat, his trench coat does not seem to limit any sort of the motion back and forth. You can get Blade to do the twist. It goes like this. Uh, arms mo rotate all the way around. Of course, I sure don't have to tell you that rotating them all the way around, they will start to bunch up around the shoulder portion of uh, the rotation. So you can't get a full rotation all the way around without this starting to kind of wrap itself. Uh, he does also have what appears to be a bend on a single hinge on the elbow. But the, el the bend is so good that you can get the hook right all the way up to the rim of his hat. As I've already mentioned, the weapons, though can be removable, I just left them in though. But they do rotate by virtue of the fact that they just unpeg out. Then, surprisingly, the legs do a full uh, rotation hinge back and forth. Um, couple that with the fact that the individual feet are also individually hinged and you've got the knee joints there as well. You can pretty much have Blade as if he's walking towards your bed or walking up to somebody that does not know that the there's a demonic doll right by hit their feet. And I guess if you can kind of get him to balance, let's see if we can actually get him to balance here. There we go. You can actually have it look as if the doll is creeping up next to somebody. This would be perfect too, and I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but this would be also perfect too if you have somebody over and you're watching and you're introducing them to the realm of Puppet Master for the very first time, You've never seen it, and over the course of the movie you kind of get up, go grab something to drink, and then you put this guy down right by like the couch area where they're, where they're sitting. I'm guaranteeing that that's going to be a laugh. Maybe more so for you, not for them, and they're going to think you're really lousy jerks, but such a great looking figure. Um, my own personal favorite from the, the puppets in the movie. Um, probably my least favorite is the girl that, that doll that throws up leeches. It's just gross watching her go, <clears throat> and she's throwing up the leeches. If you don't know what I'm talking about, see Puppet Master. It's a fun, fun ramp of romp of, uh, of a movie. Uh, good amount of gore to it as well. Such a great movie. And uh, Blade was my, one of my personal favorites. So thrilled to have this guy in my collection now. Again, big thank you to Angelo, like not only for sending this, but also sending the, the Puppet Master DVD set. I'm looking forward to getting those going and watching the rest of the, uh, the franchise. Today's collectible spot, though, we we're having a look at the Workshop Toys. This was the Puppet Master, and this was the deluxe 12-inch movie edition version of Blade. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way soon. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.